All right, friends, I haven't recorded a video for a very, very long time, like, I don't know, a few months. But yesterday was bandmate's birthday, eighth anniversary. Uh, and I thought that um, I should say something about it. It's a good occasion to remember what happened in these eight years. And uh, this um, maniac, Dorian, so he made uh, a photo show, basically a slideshow, with very interesting photos. <clears throat> so I watched it <clears throat> and then I thought I should um, I would very much like to watch it together with you and uh, just recall the events, you know. Eight years is a, is a long time. So Bentmate did a lot of things in these eight years. I just realized actually that my current job, um, I actually was hired for my current job exactly at the time when Bentmate was formed. So it was like 1st of April uh, 2013, about the same time, yeah, when Miku got this idea of Bandmate. And yesterday was August 21st, yeah, when um, actually it was eight years which Bandmate themselves considered their uh, birthday. So let's watch together this wonderful photo show by Dorian and just think about it. It took me guys like I'm watching it second time and then I got this idea that I should speak about it. It really took me like one hour to watch it because I was really pausing it and you know meditating on each uh, photo which is included here and that is amazing guys so okay so I will actually pause it on there is no music no band made music behind this so it doesn't really matter. I'm not listening to it, I'm just watching. And uh, okay, let's see. It. So here it starts. Uh, this one is Mifi, right? So it's Miko, Mifi. Okay, these are very old photos. I was like trying to understand who is who here. So is this Misa? I wonder. Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't see it actually. This could be a Kane. I have no clue actually who is here, but it's 2011, so it's very, very early. Okay, let's go further. This one is Zata. Uh, you know that there was this Akanes page on Facebook, and also there was some other um, old. There's still these old videos of. Um, of uh, these bands on uh, YouTube. So Zatta was a um, Akanes early band. That was like, yeah, 2000, um, at least in 2012, she was there. Uh, so in that Facebook page, which she later removed, well, she did not remove it, she renamed it. So it was Akane, uh, Akane Kawasaki she was and then she remained it she renamed it to something completely different not even Akane Hirose and she made all the photographs private which I really don't think is why they doing it I mean there is nothing to be ashamed of in this okay uh, they were not in bandmates so what they they still played in some bands and uh and there was another band which nobody knows about uh, about Zata. There are some recordings on YouTube, so you can find them. I think, uh, probably, I'm not sure. Uh, there are old videos of Misa's old band. That's clear. Uh, that's I know for sure. But Zata, mm, no, I, I've seen only the pictures. So you see Akane over there. That's Akane on drums. So I think even she tried to play guitar there but uh, people said no 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 she was just faking it she was just holding guitar okay okay so that was Akane's early band like at least in 2012 and it was a real band so there were four guys and uh, Akane on drums so they they played re some real music because there was another band called Chamis and uh, that was just like five 
six or whatever girls that was like an idol idol band so i don't think they played anything real although you see some um, rehearsals at the at the home it was not on studio i think it was a home of somebody with a bed on the background and something like that so but there was a, a drum kit which it was not Akane who played drums in Chinese. It was some other girl. And Akane played guitar, if you see the photos of it. Whatever. Okay. Maybe I'll speak about it later. But okay, let's move on. So, Zapta. Yeah, this one is from Freaks. That was a bar where Akane played. So, she said that she basically grew as a drummer in this bar. It was actually a pretty good uh, lineup. So there were different people with whom she played. They played covers. Uh, you you can find on YouTube the covers which they did for Shocking Blue, uh, Venus, for instance. And Akane is there like, <laughs> she's making that uh, mouth shape like, <laughs> so she was like, <laughs> really, really, concentrating on playing not smiling so yeah it seems initially it was difficult for her but it was okay it was like yeah 2012 and uh, she was training herself so okay this one this one is miku right and misa misa is it misa I have no clue. I'm not even sure. Okay, this is Akane and Misa. Um, well, there's also controversy in the fandom about what they did. Uh, they were filmed for an MV. Uh, that's the singer uh, Becky. Also, very interesting case actually for Western uh, people to see for the nature of Japanese society because Becky was uh, her career was ruined by the fact that she was a lover of uh, a certain married man so when this was discovered and made public her career just went down the sink which for Western industry music industry is like what <laughs> well i as a baha'i support it fully i i think japanese culture is much closer to decency because of course you can't uh, ruin families like that yeah you should not be a lover of a married man or a married man should not ruin his family in this way finding a lover uh, somewhere else uh, whatever, yeah, but uh, okay, Akane and Misa were filmed for this music video by Becky, which was called Haruki Switch. A pretty good song, actually. Uh, pretty good song, yeah. There was also a guitarist, I don't remember, she went to another band later, but she was also a pretty good guitarist. So I I don't know if they actually played on this recording because some people said no no probably it was recorded with some other musicians and then they only participated in the mv i don't see actually any problem with them playing in the studio for that because it was just a pop song i mean it was so simplistic like they could play it while asleep you know it was nothing really big in there but it was a fun uh, fun video and akan actually posted in her facebook like about this Haruki Switch MV, here we are uh, in the dressing room, please watch it, it's a wonderful MV. So she was really promoting it among her friends and stuff. It was very interesting. Uh, it goes very fast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me rewind it. That's, uh, okay, it, you see Miku here. It looks like it's some idol uh, contest or something so it's a 12 of uh, which one is day and which one is month okay i keep forgetting so it's like 12th of september or 
9th of December. Okay, I I don't remember which kanji stands for day or month. Okay, whatever. So Miku was uh, participating in some contest for the idols, and here is her band Lil Kumin. Lil Kumin. So there were three girls, and Miku was just singing there. Happy pretty awful band I should say well some people say yeah it's still like no I don't think it had any value like okay Misa and Akana's bands like Zata and Misa's early band which the uh, prototype or something there were few bands where Misa participated they were actually like real bands they were playing real music this was just an idol band where they were like basically singing karaoke uh, not my cup of tea <laughs> definitely <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, Miko is an idol in some contest again. Oh, so, so cute. <laughs> oh, here we come to Konami. <clears throat> Konami. I have never seen these photos before, actually. One of the reasons I decided to record this video just to watch it with you and see what Konami did, because people are curious, like, what did Konami do before Bandmate? So, you see, it's, uh, um, I probably, it's a uh, year month date so it's uh 6th of july 2012 mincha uh open community so that's where konami advertised herself you see her contact details even uh, she was searching for for people to play with sorry it's coming very quick here, here it is. So you see, okay, 16, she was 16. No, she was not 16. I don't know what this 16 means. Okay, whatever, 114 people, whatever, liked it. 557 watched it. It's like her profile or something. So uh, you see all her contacts, like her Twitter, Mincha Point. Of course, now she has a different one. Then uh, at um, Amoeba. I'm, about, um, I'm actually even subscribed to this uh, email magazine. I'm a blog.jp. Uh, Kanami no Mincho Point. Yahoo code JP. Yeah, so she was searching for people to collaborate with. Oh, you see, actually, one o'clock, nine millimeter parabellum bullet, cold edge, and so on. So, so it was like. Um, yeah, some uh, a point for musicians to meet, open community, very interesting. Ah, by the way, look at her guitar. That's her earlier guitar, before she switched to uh, Edictone. Edictone actually was manufactured by her teacher, her guitar teacher, her sensei, who founded uh, a guitar company. And uh, later, she, this one is a uh, Telecaster, right? I'm not a musician, so I'm not very, very good at uh, guitar brand names. Here is Psyche. Psyche before Bandmate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, another MV. Ah, I don't remember. Ah, actually, that was the, uh, the lady who later was interviewing Bandmate in... Uh, in a show, in an English language show, J, 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 J Rock. No, I, I don't remember the name. No, I, I can't remember the name. It's it's actually quite famous one. So she was like interviewing them in Japanese and then she was speaking in English. So it was like for outward oriented for the Western audience. And uh, Psyche appears in that MV, very early MV, like also 2012 or maybe early 2013. She appears there like momentarily, just two or three short shots, you know, very short ones. And uh, Psyche in the closet. It was very, actually very nice MV. You may find it there on YouTube. Tokyo Girls Alone. 23rd of February, 24th of March. So I think uh, Psyche was um, appearing in a certain movie. 
or she was uh, like applying to participate in the movie. I think it's a it's an actual movie where she was filmed. I don't know who she was and like artist talk, artist book signing, and then I see Psyche here. Very interesting. So, oh, Misa in her early band. Misa in her early band. I, I don't really know what was the name of that band I, because she participated in a few people say like prototype, but there was also some other bands she was playing. Kanami Cho at audiolive.com. Kanami. <laughs> I was trying to read Kanjent. Uh, that's some um, second person. And so this is two. This is uh, a human being. Human. I don't know how it is. Right. Okay, whatever. So it's such a pity that my Japanese studies are not going very well. All right. Kanami Chow. Yeah, this one is interesting. So bandmate is formed and Platinum Passport is searching for the members. So they formally posted um, an announcement on their website, Platinum Passport uh, website. Uh, I actually translate, I, I found this web page once and I read it, I translated it with Google Translate and was just uh, reading it. So they asking any girls playing instruments or not playing instruments with the age 15, 24, I think, yeah. So they uh, ask these girls to send them resumes and uh, you know, apply for membership in uh, in bandmate, uh, in, in a band, in this band, bandmate, newly created. That's very interesting. All right. Uh, it's still there, actually. They have not even removed it. It's, it's so funny. So you can still apply. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. It's, um, it's a notice there. Uh, application period is over. So you cannot apply for membership in bandmate anymore. Here, the first rehearsal of bandmate as such. So uh it was june 5th if i'm if i remember correctly so on june 5th misa akane and kanami met for the first time and uh it was also this is also a photo from akane's uh, facebook which she later removed so you see kanami playing her still her old guitar i think it's a uh, yeah this fender stratocaster telecaster whatever it is and they just in the studio. Kanami commented that uh, she saw Misa for the first time, and she said uh, that girl was having such a strong uh, hangover exhaust. But she played a pretty good bass, she said. So Kanami was impressed with Misa. Although we know that Misa was drinking heavily on the day before, because when Kanami called her and asked if she would be interested misa was she said i was a bit drunk and said may i think it overnight <laughs> and that kind of said okay okay think about it and then misa came to the studio the next day obviously uh saying that yeah she's fine with it it was uh you know really like a work of providence that misa was in a band but then her band just disbanded like the day before and then uh kanami was actually searching for someone yeah she was not in the band and uh, akan was okay playing in the bar and all that stuff but doing some studio work but she was not also in the band so the stars combined for them to be available for bandmate it's interesting because actually yeah the application uh for for the bandmate membership was still on the website of platinum passport so they were not sure who will stay who will be the members okay here you see psyche in this uh, film cast this movie cast uh here she is in the right column second from the bottom psyche. 
this move. She always used her real name, you know, again. Shibuya X. That's their first uh, show. X. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's not one of the earliest here because um, in this Shibuya X, Misa was with a little head and Saiki was with an apron and kan Akana was without a head. So this head was on Misa's head initially. Yeah, this is a bit later show. Here they are. That's their first performance in Shibuya X. Uh, I think that's actually August 21st. Like August 21st, 2013. That's why they say they, they count the creation. They, their birth is on that day because of that concert. I think so. So Misa in shoes with a little hat, kind of with, without a hat. Psyche with an apron and yeah this one uh, so they play in um, this one is available on YouTube as well this recording they play in the intro to um, be okay their first song on the first album be okay so, and they were pretty damn good you know even during that first Akuji, which they played. Miku doesn't have any guitar. Psyche with an apron. Misa with little hat and with shoes on. And Kanami still playing her old guitar. I think still not Edicton. Yeah, still her old guitar. It's actually one of the following shows. So you see Miku already with the guitar. Uh, Kanami still with her old Fender. And you see Flying V. Kanami had Flying V. Ah, by the way, Misa is still with a little head. But Saiki already <laughs> thrown away her apron. So, yeah. Kanami with Flying V. I never knew she had Flying V. I just, I, when I saw this uh, photo show, I just realized that, oh, she had Flying V. So interesting. Yeah, yeah, you see, actually, I uh, the the guy actually uh, he Dor Dorian shows he encircles uh, highlights the guitars. So Miss has four four string bass. Uh, Miku has probably a borrowed guitar or rented one. So she was actually. Uh, because the idea was for her to hold the guitar, not to play it. So she was choosing the image of a guitar fitting her mate image, which was white and black. That's why she bought Rickenbacker lately, because it was white and black. And she said, oh, it fits so well my outfit. This one is also black and white, but of course not Rickenbacker. It's just some probably cheap guitar, which she, bought, and she couldn't play it, of course. So you see, yeah. Uh, Misa, I don't see a hat on her, but uh, Akane didn't have a hat. She had this like sort of a flower in her hair. Yep. Yeah, Kanami is still with her old old fender. <laughs> Miku holding her <laughs> uh, fake guitar <laughs> well it's not fake probably it's like a real guitar but she didn't play it of course psyche with an apron <laughs> oh, okay this probably kanami and psyche in love with each other so akane misses uh social networking so she was always making photos Yeah, all these early photos, a lot of fun they had. Probably Christmas celebration. Yeah, Christmas celebration. Something. Yeah, Christmas. Hey, it must have been Christmas of uh, 2013, the end of 2013 Christmas. Yeah, 
probably at their first Christmas as a bandmate. So interesting. I, I don't know actually what is this. Akana holding Earth. Like. Atlant. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Already no April. But yeah, Akana still has no head and Miss already threw away her head. Mushy mushy. Okay. Made in Japan. So if people would only know how much this CD would cost now, they would invest in it heavily because now it's like probably nine hundred dollars so close to thousand dollars or something made in japan yes yeah, psyche still with an apron miso with a hat a can without a hat and this, they had this uh, photo session where they were photographed in the picture it's uh inside this cd so it's uh, yeah they were making uh, that's an inlay for so they were holding this uh, painting frame so that's their very initial image I think like but it's interesting yeah that they used it actually for made in Japan cover but uh, in fact already when it was released the image was completely different so Psyche threw away her apron, no hat on Misa and so on so on. That's probably the first one man Akuchi, not probably but it just says there Shibuya Milkway, Shibuya Milky Way, first one man so first uh, their own the own show uh, not part of something else but just their own show, first one man. So it's um, February 8th. Oh, Psyche's birthday. So should be a Milky Way. That's uh, this um, glowing sticks, which they wave in the air. I don't know actually how they work, but yeah, that's what uh, probably all the the people at the entrance were given these things to sh you know, show their appreciation for the band. That's the set list probably of their first Akuji. So by my tears, be okay. Yeah, so be okay was actually the second one. Ah, okay, but it's uh, already February, so it's it's not their first concert. Key then, uh, boo -boo -boo. I don't I don't know which was this song. Wanted, it's a cover of uh, something because it, it's not on the album. Big Dead, Evergreen, so forward. Bitter Sweet Love is also actually a cover, as uh, somebody told me. So you my okay, whatever. Very interesting. Knocking on your heart as well. Oh, they played actually like okay, they played twelve songs, a pretty long show. Well, it was yeah one man, so it was like one hour, obviously, or a bit longer maybe. And then knocking on your heart as um, encore. So they played encore. Kana Mincho, <laughs> Sai Chan, <laughs> already uh, playing her. Um, what it's called? What is called cold, cold and hot? Mm. Tsundere, yeah. So she's playing the Tsundere personality. <laughs> Making that face. Yeah, impersonating Akane. Akane impersonating Saiki and Saiki impersonating Akane. They always played this game. Akane Mincho already with Edict on. That was her second guitar. Yeah, and you see the, the drum kit, Sakai. So initially Akane played uh, Sakai a brand of drums. We'll see it later. It was her first, I think, uh, yeah, her first uh, drum kit. 
this this one is not hers uh as far as i remember she owned maybe only uh the snare drum but uh yeah because she was she was showing it in uh, yeah only her snare drum is hers you see the red one she always loved red so the rest is just belongs to the studio okay you see she has snare her snare drum is red it's her own and the rest is okay she's even playing yamaha which is uh probably some other show so psyche already without an apron misa without a hat akan is still without the hat with that sort of flower in her head and miku 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 without the guitar yeah miku without the guitar silent siren i don't know why they posing with this silent siren stuff <laughs> it's very funny silent siren music clips you know that they are friends with uh with uh silent siren miss a huge friend with uh Ainyan, the bass player of silent siren ah for me i don't really like silent siren they too pop i like very much the cover which accent these uh, three girls three little girls did of uh, fujiyama disco it much much better than original in my view like i can really listen it, it could be part of my playlist uh accents cover of silent siren fujiyama disco but original is like mm, i don't like it it's uh no they 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 uh, this squeaky voice and all the japanese cutesy idol stuff no i don't like it but miss love sainyan yeah the, the bass the bass player there is great so <laughs> it's interesting because i kind of plays uh cajon cajon it's called yeah cajon cajon uh kanami plays acoustic and there's psyche here i would think it's actually mochi to cheese but no psyche is here so they they pose for this very funny meditation whatever <laughs> yeah the same one yeah, so they in the studio you see um psyche dressed in the same pants checkered pants and missy is also there in a studio it's a studio i don't know silent siren so they were recording at silent Siren studio okay. yeah they're in the studio so <laughs> psyche miku with her rickenbacker you see she's already with her rickenbacker and we should be we should be Konami with her edicton doesn't look like Konami. so bandmate acoustic yeah bandmate acoustic uh this is mochi to cheese this is mochi to cheese you see there uh akane and uh, Konami on acoustic akane on cajon Konami on acoustic and here below you see acoustic set of bandmate yeah it was such a waste of talent to be honest bandmate acoustic like this you know because i can play in cajon oh come on <laughs> i can strengthen in uh, wonderful blast beats kick of a kick drum and no Konami, uh, well acoustic guitar in my opinion is really a different instrument from electric guitar so Konami plays very simple acoustic guitar she's not like Paco de Lucia or something she's goddess on electric guitar she she can be rated really among the top uh, electric guitar players but no she's not equally good for acoustic guitar so i also consider it really a waste of talent why they try to to uh, put them into these acoustic projects uh, i think it was a bit mixed mistake i'm glad that they realized i mean the platinum passport realized it and then that they should not do it yeah that's the first anniversary that's where we counted from so they themselves said 2014 uh july 27 ah july 27 not august uh. so it was months ago oh my bad 
So their birthday was not yesterday, it was one month and one day ago. How could I forget that? Everybody was saying like, yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. So here's official birthday of bandmate. 2013, July 21st. Let's remember that. Bandmate first anniversary, first anniversary. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, those t-shirts. They were selling those t-shirts. I wonder if anyone still has them. Yeah, the first um, single. Um, love, passion, matador. Why oh, I, I forget to no matadoru, no matadoru. I to Jonitsu. I I love to and Jonitsu. Passion, no matador. So. Love and passion of Matador. Matadors. Love and passion of Matador. Very nice cover, right? Mates in red. So, ah, by the way. Akane with her snare drum. That's, as I said, her snare drum, which, uh, which is her own. That she owns. Uh, it, it, she was using it even uh, in Freaks. So she was carrying it around. And actually, in that Facebook page, she's saying that, yes, yeah, she, <clears throat> she was fixing it herself, like tuning it herself, and it was like her first drum. That's um, this uh, noodle cafe, I think, where they were uh, serving these um, instant noodles to the clients for like... Um, thousand yen or something i don't remember so you would buy this instant noodle and you would have th uh three minutes to talk with a celebrity uh, while these instant noodles were preparing people actually said that three minutes is a lot so some people actually went there ah kane first anniversary oh Oh, come on. August 22nd. So, okay. For them, first anniversary then was like a fuzzy date, not like particular date. They were celebrating it um, at least over one month. Hmm, interesting. Mm, so today is actually eight years okay whatever very interesting very interesting how they considered it filming of thrill filming of thrill sonor so that was already a canis own drum kit because it's all in red and it's sonar already so already by the time of filming thrill so already i kind of had a different kit interesting ah yeah this is this is an gadget 2014 winter um i think it's end of 2013 like december or something very nice show it was it's like half an hour only like 20 something minutes and it's really good it's available on youtube just go and uh, find it it's a very nice one they really play well and uh, they play like thrill acoustic thrill acoustic is really great there they also play this bittersweet love which is a cover which was not published anywhere and uh, all other songs which uh, acoustic are really great but thrill Acoustic is really great there. Just don't miss it. Kururu. So Akana's beloved cat, which passed away 2019. She even had a t-shirt with uh, Kururu playing drums. 
so this cat was like 19 years old when he died and Akane posted a message about it like he was really a member of their family so 19 years for a cat it's like 200 years for a human being you know so first anniversary so 21st july and then they celebrated also a few other shows you see yeah mates in red checkered mates ah this is uh mochi to cheese so a can on drums and a kanami on acoustic guitar mochi to cheese actually was uh, not such a bad band i don't really like what they did but they had a very good singer uh, this girl amazing voice very good voice uh, i think she went uh, where is she now i don't know yep mochi to cheese in eggman shibuya eggman so akane on cajon Check it, mates. <laughs> so that's, I think, from Mochi to Cheese as well. So, <laughs> Kanami on acoustic guitar and a Canon Cajon. Oh, she's pretty acrobatic. <laughs> Doing this show. Check it, mates. Psyche. It's winter, you see, it's pretty cold. So they all dressed in furs. Mochi thirties. Let me let me show where they are. What's in the true? Ah, this one. Silent Siren again. So probably it's from the same. Uh, you see, it's the same as in the picture before, where Misa was standing at this console and this uh, sound control uh, board and uh, psyche with this in this checkered uh, pants so they in, the, in the same room obviously probably at the same occasion but they already dressed so there was probably like a joint concert with uh, with a silent siren do we see any uh do we see any poster of bandmate no probably it is there but we just don't see it okay whatever mochi to chizu so akane kanami and that's uh, that's the singer with the very good voice which i know of <laughs> so funny the cats cats watching Mochi to cheese. Checkered mates. So probably like one of the first uh, publications that Kanami is holding. Bandmate, Pop United, some sort of magazine. So they in, in red from um, either Matador of Love and Passion or made in japan yeah probably from matador of love and passion made in red yeah it's from matador of love and passion picture kanani is so happy so here's the way for world domination is started nico ah it's probably still on the first anniversary you see the same uh, bouquet of flowers misa akane nico drinking after party is it psyche should be psyche right whatever okay i kind of playing drums and i think it's misa here with the bass yeah i kind of playing her drums it's a very interesting setup of a drum kit. Uh, she has this extra um, little drum for a kick, side kick, 
or whatever it's called. Sapkik. Sapkik, yeah, for Sakai. Yamaha Sapkik. So again, it's not uh, actually hers drum kit. It's the one belonging to the studio, but it's still Sakai, so very early on. Yeah. Ka ne. It's again in the studio. Yeah, yeah, they performed at some sort of festival. Yeah, you see Baku on Sai Volume Zero. So it was six days. So band mate was on day two, on Monday, the third one and mochi to cheese was on friday second in a row mutant monster all this actually very famous bands mutant monster limps split pop caramel yeah caramel is actually quite a famous one i think they even did a collaboration or something with them Okay, I don't know. Real. Vivid Andres, yeah, Vivid Andres. Also quite a famous band. <laughs> this is Konami, right? Yeah, this is Konami. And who are these girls in white? I have no clue. Misa, 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 Club Crawl, yeah, this actually, the recording from Crab, uh, no, there is no recording, uh, but there's, there are some pictures of them playing in Club Crawl. Ah, the name of another Misa's band before bandmate was Hurtist, Hurtist, just remind me the name of her rig here. That's uh, that's uh, Mochi to uh, no no that's uh, can uh, can I be playing her Addictone electric in the studio? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, Akane at the drums. Yeah, you see, she was always using Evans heads. Again, it's not it's not. Uh, her a drum kit she's just in the studio Misa Misa on bass just sitting here in the studio with the sound engineer and everybody and uh, not the, yeah the drum kit is probably behind the glass and yeah Akane on drums behind the glass and Misa is there in the studio so interesting. Misa, Misa, Akane, Akane. It's, uh, yeah, the, the show. Pigeon in flight. <laughs> Look at this. Pigeon in flight. <laughs> Miku has this ability to jump really high. Like, she's like, I don't know, so high. She's really a bird, a pigeon. No. Not a bird, a pigeon. In her flapping wings video, she was sorting the beans into birds and pigeons. So she's not a bird, she's a pigeon. Kanami with her guitar gods possessed posture. Watching Saiki, 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 watch me play. <laughs> so funny. Oh, yeah, it's actually interesting. Uh, 172. So, band made Kobato Miku. Low girl. Low girl. Low girl. It was like an, um, a magazine or something. Daily Low girl. So, this is Miku. And here is Psyche. Also on Low girl. This one, yeah. 
daily log rolls. So Miko was 172, Saiki is 173. It's so interesting. So they listed like all the cute girls in the music industry. That's uh, Saiki's real name. Uh, this is a princess. Uh, so she's uh, Atsumi, Atsumi Saiki. You could read actually like Atsumi uh, Ojo, but no, she's like, it's uh, kanjis are read differently, but they mean the same thing. So this is a princess. This is the woman, uh, part of a kanji, which is woman. And this is uh, like royalty or something. Interesting. Kanami. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, there are two uh, songs uh, recorded. Um, I don't remember the name of this venue right now, but they played Thrill and something else. And Akane was providing the shouts. So she has a mic next to her. It's probably like one of, so you, you know that early on in their career, actually Akane was sort of singing as well. Misa never sang. They have so much fun on stage. Yeah, here's a filming of um, real existence. They say it was really burning hot on that day really burning hot so they in front of the temple and then they also play inside the temple it's real existence real existence yeah the, in front of that temple it's one of my favorite sh uh, shots of them actually i had it for a very long time as my uh, lock screen on my pc my wife loves this picture also very much. When she sees, she says, they look really good here. <laughs> Mochita cheese, such a high profile ad. You see like they covered like a huge space on a skyscraper. On some, uh, what, what is this place? It's not uh, uh, this uh, crossing in Tokyo in Akihabara. No, it's a different one. Mochito cheese. Such a like very high profile ad. Interesting. Ah, yeah. So another photo shoot session. So before the show, because you see they actually in their real addresses, like in their real shoes. Because if they pose in just for photo photo shoot session, they were wearing their like um Mm, shoes which are part of the dress like high heels so Kanan was wearing high heels and Misa had these high heels and Akan even but here they actually in the shoes on which they they perform on stage because of course uh, Akan would not be able to use her kick drum in high heels and Kanan would not be able to switch the pedal board and Misa would take the shoes off anyways yeah, that's the actual shot. It's so funny, yeah, just this random guy with a uh, with a toddler. <laughs> Usually Japanese guys avoid that like appearing pe random people appearing in the shot. That's very interesting. Yeah, I think uh, that photo shoot session was before that show, Eggman. Uh, Shibuya Eggman, bandmate. So 2015. Uh, June 30th, Tuesday, Tuesday, Eggman. It's already two years since the inception. Yeah, probably that same uh, show, some closer one. So where they did this uh, joint hands thing, they used to do it before. Eggman, yeah, so they probably that same show. It's another one where they celebrating the anniversary. See this uh, t-shirts white with uh, red flowers. So it's another show. Yeah, then they also had this very interesting uh, t-shirt um, with them 
in red and band made it in white it's the second anniversary so it's july 18 at eggman so they actually played it in not in made outfits but in the t-shirts which is very unusual they i don't know yeah on the previous photo you've seen them in white t-shirts though they probably used to play it in uh, t-shirts at certain moments but psyche is still wearing the apron <laughs> black apron but she put it on top of her t-shirt so funny yeah that that same one eggman uh july 18. nico in some sort of ah it's just a uh, a towel hanging on a mic stand they actually well it's a very small clubs yeah like maximum like i don't know 100 people or something 200 people but still it's pretty full i mean <clears throat> a small club but a lot of uh, fans got some following also <clears throat> you see the the t-shirts of the people there this is bent my t-shirt this is bent my t-shirt one of the early ones so and the actual t-shirt from that concert you see band made the ones which the ladies are wearing uh, these yellow red ones and then ah first anniversary of band my t-shirt oh my goodness such a rarity yeah you see they they actually had 2014 this is 2015 right Sure. yeah these are the t-shirts the early ones second anniversary t-shirts second anniversary breaking new gate <laughs> so funny breaking new gate is it written gate breaking new gate <laughs> bad mate second anniversary that's the show which i think was recorded it's like half an hour or something they played there uh, i didn't know it was in front of that stadium it was a festival so yeah it's there okay. so they're in front of that stadium ah, it's Miko, Miko. It's again mochi to cheese. Mochi to cheese. There's a strange photo. Like you see, I can't. I think it's mochi to cheese. But then you see band made ad there. New beginning cover of of the CD. So okay, maybe they were just cross advertising. I don't know. But that's uh, mochi to cheese. Uh, that's the singer, I guess. Yeah, that's the cover of New Beginning. And then uh, Akane is there as Akane alone. Why is that? Where is Bandmate? Why Akane is alone there? Yeah. Shibuya Eggman. Yeah, so they were performing in Eggman a lot at the time. Yeah, already, yeah. In mate outfits. Ah, Akane. Ah, DJ Archie dj archie ah that's why that's why akane is alone there dj archie she was actually <clears throat> acting as a dj in that club she was actually yeah, like actually dj uh, people uh, the fans have unearthed that recording where akane was playing baby metal baby metal song there Miku, Kanami, Saiki, Misa, Kane. An early one. Okay, real. Yeah, the set list. No, not the set list. I mean the, the song list on uh, New Beginning. If you look at manners, you see that they actually did this flashback to these times where they positioned this idea of girls 
a musical band sitting at the table and drinking tea and eating sweets. It's actually from K-On anime. Uh, they used it initially in like many, many shows, like way back into 2017, I think. You see even they had a tea kit on top of an amp. I don't think it actually there was like a teapot contained any tea, but they positioned themselves like this. So it's coming from K on anime. So where they were drinking tea and making music in the pop music club. So in, in manners, they only Saiki and Miko are sitting there at the table. It's like sort of a limited flashback. So beautiful. Yeah, checkered mates. No. Ah, Predia. That's Predia. It's also very another very interesting uh, episode in their career. You see, Misa, Akane, and Kanami actually played as instrumentalists with these bow ties, which is actually uh, later would become a symbol of bandmate, right? And this is Predia. So these girls are just dancing on the stage and uh, this recording also available on YouTube. So you can see uh, um, it starts with Predia just singing and dancing there without anyone playing. So basically like karaoke show. And then at like minute 17 or something, I don't remember exactly, or 27, um, they remove the black curtain which hides part of the stage and you see the drum kit there and then Misa and Kanami come there and Akana plays the drums and they perform like two or three uh, songs and uh, yeah not exactly this one because Predia here is dressed differently but you see that the type of dress which they use uh, that's where Saiki has borrowed her later style of dress like the a leather looking uh, skirt with a long tail like this not not this checkered one but yeah it's a quite unusual dress actually for predia checkered one <clears throat> i haven't seen them using it yeah yeah that's some other people there kanami kanami in her head in this head, I think she went to Santana's uh, show in 2013 March together with Akane. In, the, in her recent interview in a massive um, uh, magazine, Kanami said that her love for uh, Santana was not was very unusual for her generation. And she said, "I thought." I'm the only one of my age who loves Santana because it was like music of uh, people from like uh, who were like 40 years old or something like her parents basically. And then she said, yeah, but when I invited Akane to go to see Santana, she agreed. And so they went together. It was in March 2013 before Bandmate, but uh, they already played together. Anti knock, anti knock, another club. Ah, this is alone. This is they shoot an alone uh, MV. It's an alternative uh, version. There are two versions of alone. If you know, you should know it. The official one, which is on the YouTube channel, and then another one, which I don't know uh, what it is for. Maybe they used it for karaoke halls maybe but then karaoke hall's version is actually available on youtube um what's the name uh, because they were under nippon crown and then there was this uh, search the keyword stadium bandmate stadium something something and then you'll find that uh, two karaoke versions yolo and alone so yeah, they, they were included in the database of that because they were the, the umbrella company. Uh, Nippon Crown. 
whatever. So they were actually manufacturers of karaoke equipment as well. So, but Bandmate is not very good for karaoke, as Japanese fans say. They very difficult to sing to, because Miku's lyrics they not follow in Japanese um, pronunciation style. Miku really twists and squeezes Japanese lyrics so that they sound like English. So they completely change the style, which I think that's why we love bandmates so much they not uh, because you know music is sometimes very much defined by the lyrics that's what many composers do they first compose the lyrics and then they just follow what the lyrics sound like but it's not like real music you know it's it's like for me it's like lazy music you can do it but ah come on it's like uh, sub um, sub quality stuff and I very much like the the fact that it is Konami who is composing it without any lyrics in her mind. And then we have a genius pigeon who just composes the lyrics in such a way that it fits what Konami has composed in terms of music. And then Saiki, who is just genius singer, and she can sing it like this. I try to, to sing some... Okay, I can reproduce the sounds of band made lyrics just like this like something is sounding and i'm sort of singing it right but when i try to read it it's absolutely impossible like even the simple ones like play the last uh, verse is uh, actually in japanese a play is not like really ly lyrics heavy it's just basically lyrics like filling the spaces in the song but the last verse where Psyche gets especially emotional because it's really amazing verse. Uh, it's it's really Miku's, like, I think she's one of the most, the deepest philosophers of our time, really. No kidding. And the verse goes like this. Every human being will wither. Every flower will wither. Every human being will wither. Um uh, nothing is eternal the um the clock is ticking yeah the clock is ticking it's actually sung in english the clock is ticking uh, but until then until the clock has finished ticking don't stop fighter uh, don't stop fighting it should be probably yeah, but don't stop fighter don't stop fighter so yeah 2016 March 24 29 are they going somewhere? ah they going to okay yeah 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 they go to America it's Seattle Seattle Comic Con that's their first appearance in the western soil in America okay, Misa so they were walking around Seattle and all these guys, you know, we just saw this a bunch of we weird uh, Japanese girls, you know, with flowers and dressed as maids. And but it was, uh, uh, yeah, the festival of Japanese culture. <laughs> Akane. <laughs> Akane enjoying, <laughs> enjoying her hotel in America. <laughs> well, but she does really cool acrobatics. Like, look at this. Boo! Just very cool. So they sit in somewhere in a in a restaurant, eating on the street. America, America, here we come. Remember that song which they sang a cappella. America, 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 America. It was very great. Pink. Ah, yeah, the pass. Uh, Comic Con. Guest of. Sakura-kon, yeah, Sakura-kon. That's the 
famous first appearance. I see like 3,000 people were there in the halls that, uh, yeah, they built their fan base very much. SakuraCon 2016. This recording is actually available. They were later uh, made, they appeared as part of this Gold Rush interview. So you may watch that one. They, um, the a few real ones, not the fan cams, because they were actually professionally shot, and uh, you can see it in Gold Rush interview. <clears throat> Comic Con. Yeah, this is Comic Con London. So Sakura Con Seattle, Comic Con London, also 2016. This video they keep removing from YouTube, uh, this side shot of uh, Akane. Actually, there is another shot of uh, the, the guy in front of Konami also filmed it. So you could still find on Facebook, I think. Uh, they have not removed it from Facebook. Um, how Konami plays her solo. But the most famous, of course, is this shot from this side where you can see Akane playing alone, it's uh, alone, son alone, and how she plays it, it's like she's absolutely nuts, you know. She still has her incorrect pose, like she's hanging her head and drums like this, and I think uh, she later corrected that pose because it was damaging her back, uh, but she's like, she's just going ham on, on those drums. Shot from uh, brand new metal. Yeah, brand new metal. They have a few covers actually, like at the back of that. They actually <laughs> shot from the back, like that cover of uh, Black Sabbath uh, Sabotage, where in the front of the uh, album cover they they stand in front, and there is a mirror behind them. And <laughs> if you turn it around, I mean Black Sabbath Sabotage. So you see they stand in the back turned towards the camera and they mirrored with their backs in the mirror and it was so funny yeah. so they <clears throat> they used the same approach here so here's the uh, facing the camera and on the back they with the backs to the camera so very nice to see this one is yolo yeah oh mexico mexico they say they love mexico the most, I said, the, the crowd there was the most emotional and welcoming brand moment. Yeah, this one is interesting one. So that's to 2016 and they won the prize. The, and that's where you will see the, the famous photo with uh, Jimmy Page. So, okay. Japan Next Generation Award. So there were a few bands in this festival, like, or whatever, prize contest. <clears throat> Bandmate was awarded this uh, Japan Next Generation. Bandmate! Brand new mate. Brand new mate. Ah, so they got a prize for the album as well. Uh, this one is, I think, from um, Nippon Crown or something like so. It's like, yeah, from Nippon Crown. So Nippon Crown awarded the um, prizes for the bands which were under their care. So it's not like an open contest, like inside the company. So one of the bands managed by Nippon Crown was Bandmate, and Bandmate has got the prize for the like, best album under Nippon Crown label. Arianti. So it's from that 2016 um, festival or whatever it was, because there were a few legendary musicians who came there. Arianti was one of them. I had such a nice one because um, I knew Arianti well before I knew Bandmate. She's really amazing guitar player. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I think Arianti was not able to find her true band. You know, she's like um, um, 
like many of those musicians, you know, who are not who are just amazing musicians, but they cannot find the the real true people to compliment them, you know. So Arianti was yeah like uh, she found that guy from Uri Heap, I think. Uh, where was he from? You know, from uh, also a famous guy from uh, probable. I don't remember his name. Yeah, and then Ariant is like, yeah, she's not shining really there. She collaborated with uh, Steve Vai. You know, it was a very nice video. You can find it on YouTube and so on. So I know that she's a great guitarist, but you need really a band, you know, to compliment you where you can really shine. And it's so difficult to find such a band, you know. So some Japanese guys probably from the same show. Yeah. I don't know this guy, but I was told that this is Cheap Trick. I never listened to Cheap Trick. I even don't know what it's all about. But it seems like he's really famous guy, like really a legendary. And of course, it seems that band made girls know who he is. So they so extremely happy to post together with him. But they never mentioned it in interviews. So yeah, so this cheap trick guy was there. And then, of course, Jimmy Page. Yeah, so Jimmy Page was there actually in the, what you call it, the board of this uh, prize, whatever. And... Uh, of course, Jimmy Page has very good ear for good drums. And of course, he noticed Takane. And he went as far as to uh, immortalize this moment by asking Akane for a photo together. And Akane was like, she said, I was what? Jimmy Page, Jimmy Page. So that's where this idea, this um, um, legend this um, fantasy of uh, Jimmy Page calling her incarnation of John Bonham came. To me, it seems like, ah, come on. First of all, yeah, Jimmy Page would never say that. I fully agree. And second, like, ah, Akane is so much better than John Bonham. John Bonham was, yeah, he was a very good drummer. But yeah, he shown in the band. Of course, Led Zeppelin was a great band, but it was 50 years ago, come on, 50 years ago. And uh, Akane is really next generation. Listen to what she's doing on Unseen World. John Bonham never did anything close to this. Nothing even close. Okay, just my opinion. I'm really, I grew on Led Zeppelin. And of course I heard all the time, oh, John Bonham is a great drummer. To be honest, I never really, okay, I. I accepted this statement from my musician friends. Oh, John Bonham is such a great drummer. I said, okay, John Bonham is a great drummer. But I was, I just, you know, I reconsidered this uh, um, stereotype, this idea recently when people start to tell me that, no, no, John Bonham is not so great. And I should say, yeah, like John Bonham is not really standing out for me. He's, he's perfect for Led Zeppelin, but okay. I, I like more like these prog rock drummers, like my favorite Van der Graaf generation band. And Guy Evans, who is the drummer there, he is really like much closer to Akane in style, very creative. Of course, the drummer in King Crimson, uh, Michael Giles, who was in the uh, first three albums of King Crimson. Also, Ian Pace. Ian Pace, yeah, Ian Pace, you see it. So Ian Pace, I think, is much better. I mean, he's more unusual as a drummer. Whatever. Whatever. But this picture, of course, is amazing, yeah. So, I don't know what... Ah, yeah. This very early picture of uh, Akane with her Sakai, very early drum kit which is already hers, I think, and that's what she called Emily. This drum kit is called Emily. But it's like still Sakai, so even before, uh, then she switched to Tama. Then there was a moment where she was playing Sonor as well. So Sakai was even before Sonor drum kit. 
some more drum kit I think you see it in dice and if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken whatever yeah but Sakai is very early one yeah, yeah the timing of this this is MV for uh, don't you tell me but they were smashing things here yeah, you see this uh, they come into the party of these aristocrats or whoever they are and then they smash everything and overturn the tables and you know the uh, chandelier is falling down and stuff like that uh, so that's where Akana had her. I think it's her first one it's Sakai one it's interesting that on the previous one you see uh, Sakai is here and on the MV they removed the logo I don't know why strange yeah Sakai yeah it's uh, don't let me down don't let me down MV yeah Sakai is here the brand don't let me down don't let me down ah I don't know no don't let me down don't you tell me don't you tell me okay yeah so we come to later okay it's almost the end of the show less than one minute 50 seconds left uh we're looking forward now to their appearance in the kate movie this guy um uh, of course i don't remember his name but Trajan. yes so he's um username is Trojan like uh, Trojan many of you have wondered if band made JP were in my film Kate Netflix the answer is yes they are we shot a scene with them and there is two songs from them featured in the film two songs interesting because in the trailer they appear like for one second here we are the night of the shoot with Miku Martino who plays Ani in the film. Bandmate absolutely awesome and for all the fans out there they rock this. Yes, yes, they rock this. I, I will be I'll be definitely uh, buying this film if I can, but I'm not subscribed to Netflix and I don't watch Hollywood movies. They really most of them are really stupid I don't have time to watch any movies actually even my favorite animes but whatever Kate premieres on September 10th on Netflix Kate premieres September 10th on Netflix so look forward to this movie I think they'll have like <laughs> hundred thousand extra views for this movie just because of Bandmate <laughs> oh, yeah you want to play hide and seek play time is over <laughs> time to teach you some manners <laughs> like people were like making this um who did this i think peter lynn did this uh, yeah hide and seek is band name uh song play is also been my song time is uh been my song and manners of course been my song and so it's a kate and uh band my picture at the background here it is here it is here it is thanks for watching bandmate eighth anniversary featured star series la, 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 la. yeah i turned off i turned off music very very low not to interfere also there is yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> A short flash of um, whatever, yeah, probably will not be able to catch it. Very short flash of. Yep. I will not be able to catch it. So, that was a very interesting. Um, 
flashback yeah, into into the past eight years have passed yeah. and this most of these uh, photos were like from until 2017 or something but very nice very nice early history so yeah go and watch this uh, uh, it's part three actually so Dorian also Dorian he has uh, part one and part two and also a lot of other um, photo shows about Batman so thank you for being with me and uh, there are many things which I still don't know about Batman history but it's so fascinating to to watch now it's such a long way which they've gone long live bandmate wish you world domination and Miku I wish you saving the world bandmate can conquer the world Miku said but it cannot save it so Miku started a separate project to save the world pigeons gonna save the world bye